Hello everyone, welcome back to Fusion Studios and today I have another modifier explained which is XY path. Now to start with I'm already in my Fusion page and here you can see my workspace might be different from yours and if you want the same workspace like mine so go to workspace and here go to layer presets in Fusion presets you can choose midflow and you'll have a similar workspace like mine. For that you might also need to enable the inspector if you haven't because I think that by default you don't have inspector enabled so yeah that's fine and also nodes <laughs> but you might have enabled that it comes default enabled so yeah whatever I'll not waste your time just directly come to the point so to learn about xy path what we will do is I'll take a rectangle okay just like that if I'll view it on the viewer boom we have a rectangle after this what I will do is I'll add a transform and I'll take it from toolbar again so here this is transform or what you can do is you can click onto the node graph or shift plus space bar and you can type here xf which is short form for transform and it will work too and yes you can take the output from a mask node and put it directly into the input of this and it's just not available to uh, transform you can even merge some masks if you want to with this merge and you know make a compound mask with it also so the thing is you will not find these kind of information Anyway, why? Because there is obviously lack of information for fusion on internet. I understand you guys, okay? Because I when I was also learning, I also had that kind of thing. So to clear that out, I'm making these tutorials, okay? To help the people out. Uh, in this node graph, it's not that there are just these two nodes. I have all these nodes too. And why? We made this sort of template of this text. We also made this rectangular animation. We made a lot of cool stuff to be honest, okay? We did some path per tube animation stuff, you know, like many things. And you can find all of that where you can find all that on the channel. Okay. So we explained, I don't know, about four to five modifiers already. And yeah, which was a lot to be honest. And the problem is not that. The problem is we have 23 modifiers in total. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But yeah, that will happen for sure. That I know whatever let me just take this transform and put over here and let's continue with xy path so first of all we did a we did a video explaining the path modifier itself and in that you'll see that we made this sort of cool little rectangular animation okay this one now again if you haven't watched it the link will be right in the description below or you can go to the channel and watch everything over there which is nice or better i'll say now in this transform first of all the path is also similar to xy path difference is as the name says the x and y path are differentiated how let me just explain right now if i come to the zero frame and first of all i will also enable the spline because it helps in visualizing the things which i explain or say okay that's why i like spline a lot now if i right click over here okay click animate or if i click onto the three frame if i right click and modify with path all these three will do the same thing doesn't matter if i click click a keyframe the modify panel is enabled if i click on it you have part two again you might see path one because you might have a fresh file which i don't have i have other uh notes too okay so that's why just don't get confused beginners do get confused i see this a lot in comments too but yeah it's fine now in this path problem is i have this displacement again the problem is the displacement is for x and why both i want it separated so how do we do it for that i'll come here go to center and remove part two now what i'll do is i'll right click on the center modify width and choose x y path boom you see it right away onto the spline x and y path are now separated and you know what's crazy how the color code over here is similar to the color code shown in the 3d workspace like if i take text 3d for example and if i put it over here you see the x is red the y is green and z is blue and we also have the z value by the way if i go to modifiers and here you can see there is the z value and if i keyframe it for example let me add a keyframe over here it is blue and it's available see so that's why but yeah we'll be using both of these and by the way 3d videos will also come soon all the explain videos will come really soon 2024 will be banger i told you guys in the beginning also but yeah whatever so what to do now we have the expert path but what is the thing which we'll use first of all i'll come to this rectangle and because my show we control check which is checked by default i'll come to this corner any one of corners and now you can manipulate the rectangles width and height so let me make a cube this time earlier we made a rectangle we'll make a cube okay it's looking nice and smooth i'll come to zero frame go to modifiers and here i'll take the x and put it over here go to the last one and put this or over here now you see something has happened on the x spline these two keyframes are but just like that really nice now by the way my show only selected tool is checked over here you can click on this menu and check the show only selected tool which will help you to you know it will just show the tools the tools by the way it means nodes just show you the nodes just selected under the node graph which is nice now let's check this why because we don't have any use of it right now now see what happens okay it's very nice thing now what i can do is 
I'll select Control A and hit Zoom to View. And now I can manipulate the X itself just like that. This one over here, this one over here, this one over here. Let me do one more thing. I'll hit Control A and do Shift S. Let me play from starting. You see, and we can even change the splines too. Now, how am I only able to manipulate its X values? Is because of XY path. The XY path type uses two separate splines. We saw that X and Y over here on the spline itself. For the position along the X and Y axis. All right. The advantage is that it's very easy to work with motion along an individual axis which is of course it is it is now customizable highly highly customizable i can come to the zero frame go to modifies again go to y bring it over here go to the last one again go to y bring it over here and you can even see that the uh, spline itself over here onto the viewer is changing well you see what just happened and the crazy thing is you can't do all this into the path itself well you can by making the displacement path okay and then changing it well but you don't have the power to then you know change the x or y path separately that's why we use x y path to use both the splines to work with them both the motions separately and i guess that it's very pretty much successful in that now i will also do one more thing in the y I'll select all of it with Control A, Shift S, and it will be a little bit smoother. It looks cool. That's it. One more thing which we can do is for that either you can increase uh, the Y values. So maybe let me just put it over here, like bring it more down. Go to the last one and bring this a little bit above like that and see. We have so smooth animation it looks so cool it's all possible because of x y path you see the x path which is over here is similar over here but because we opened up the y that's why that also opened up okay let us do one thing let me change it i'll double click on it again zoom to fit and check y because we don't need to mess with that i'll select all of this just like that go to time stretcher okay uh move up the head a little bit and then let's bring this you see what is happening? The spline is all getting together. So something like this. And also take this and bring this a little. Oh, oh, oh. Very, very annoying. So what I'll do is I'll uncheck this uh, time structure. Take this and no, not this one. I guess it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. I'll just make it like that so that it goes away from the viewer. Do the same thing with this one. Yeah, just like that. Now let's play. It's like you're rubbing a board or something. You can make so many cool animations with it. You don't even have an idea, to be honest. But yeah, that's how things ought to be turned out. And we can even take this and bring it a little bit over here. And you see, if I change this over here, this also changes. So both are same, actually. Take this, bring it over here. Just like that. Let's play from the beginning. Wow, it looks awesome. I'll go to the settings, on the motion blur. Oh, sorry, on the transform. And enable the motion blur too. Let's see how it looks. It looks great if I'll increase it. Let's see how it looks now. Wow, it looks so damn awesome. I'll increase the sample spread to 200. Man, it just looks so, so crazy. Okay, I have an idea. The idea is that I'll take a mask paint. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what we can create with it. I guess this is mask paint. No, it is paint. Shift plus space bar, mask paint over here. Actually, what I want is basically wherever it's going, right? It should erase that part basically or make that part white instead of black. That's what I want to do. So how can we do it? Like think about it wherever this is going, the thing should follow. And again, and also I'll bring this over there because it's way too fast. Yeah, just like that. So hmm, I didn't thought about it actually before making the video. I'm thinking about it right now. I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. We can do one thing because we have this uh, path. What we can do is maybe I'm not sure though. I can come to this transform modify with. Can we publish it now? No, we can't publish it. Okay, 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 okay. Well, maybe then we need to check it out later. I don't know. Yeah, we'll check it out later. I'll make a separate video on that because that will be easier for you to understand too. See, when I do things, when I learn about things, it's not that easy to understand, okay? It's very complex. 
I then synthesize the information into simpler words so that I can make you understand too. Okay, so that's why. Now that's all about X bar to be honest. Now I can even change the Z rotation, but I don't know why it's not working over here. Maybe there's something else we need to change. But yeah, and center X and Y will change the center X and Y values of the path itself. Size will change the size of the path itself again. Angle will also change the path itself of the angle. And heading offset change the heading offset of this path. Okay, now this is it for X Y path. That's it. Yeah. The crazy thing is, you can change the default path if you want to, meaning that you can change the default path type to XY path. How is that? For that, you might need to go to Fusion, go to Fusion Settings, and boom, you will have this pop up of Fusion Settings. Now, you need to go to Defaults, and here in Point Width, you can choose XY path, which is right now set to path. If you want to, I will say don't do it because path is. Still better if you don't want to mess with X and Y separately. Use X, Y, Y, X and Y path only when you want to change the X and Y path separately. Okay. Why I'm saying that is because if you will uh, go on to path. So if I right click on to pivot and choose path, if you'll see path, there is this right click for shape animation and then the displacement. So it's very helpful if you want to make some, you know, uh, changes to the animation of an object. So yeah, you can make anything on the polygon and then right click here for shape animation. So that's why. Otherwise, if you want to use it, so yeah, you can, there's no one stopping you. I just shared my opinion and yeah, that is it. Let me just again zoom for it to view. And guess what? That's it for XY path. And with that said, I'd like you to join our Discord server. Okay, link is in description. Beautiful community. If you enjoyed this, so you know what to do. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this to your friends or whoever you want to share it with. Okay, share this video as much as you can. There are some files uh, which are which is available for you to explore. Uh, some of them are these, okay, which are right now available on the screen. You might be seeing them. Of course, you will be. I'll, I am I am myself editing this video, so I'll put it over here. So yeah, you can get all these from the store. The link is again on the description. And the last thing is right now the join button is also available. Might like the link will be over there if you want to join the channel. So you can now join too. Okay, I thought about it, but. And the first things which came into my mind was, no, I should not do it. But then I thought about it and I was like, I mean, it's fine. You will get, you are getting some perks, which is fine. And you can even comment down below if you think that some more perks, uh, there are some more perks which you deserve. So, you know, at that price. So yeah, I'll be, I'd love to hear that. And that's it. Comment down below how you like this one. What are the changes? What are the suggestions you want to make? And by the way, we will be doing some events on the Discord. So make sure that you join Discord and the events will be done really, really soon. So yeah, join it right now. And with that said, see you in the next one. Till then, peace out and stay creative.